So now that we've covered some of the more technical aspects of preparing project submittals in Revit architecture, let's also check some of the artistic aspects, such as preparing 3D views and perspective views for presentation sheets by focusing mainly on the camera view. To set the camera view up, you first need to go to ground floor, select the camera icon, on the plan view and of course the direction or the area of the plan you want your shot to focus on like this let's try and catch some of the kitchen interior I'm going to click now and boom we're brought into the camera view now one thing you'll immediately notice is that these light fixtures are just floating in the space and that's why we have to check our project by using different sections and views and that's just a part of good project development practice so I'll just hide these for now by selecting them the other thing you'll notice is that there's something wrong with this part of the image and that's because the view depth hasn't been set up yet we can set up the view depth by selecting the camera crop view and changing the far clip offset to larger value like 30 feet there you go other than that you might not be completely satisfied with the initial view so you can adjust the view extents by moving these handles For example like that the complete view can be moved by selecting your middle mouse button and moving the selection now except for the crop region or view extents how we call them and the far clip or view depth how we named it usually the most widely used options for the 3d perspective view are the eye elevation and target elevation with eye elevation being the elevation of the camera from the selected ground floor view in which we define the camera position and target elevation or the elevation of the camera target form the same initial floor level in which the camera was defined let's try and change some of these parameters I will now lower the target elevation to 5 feet and make the eye elevation higher here we go we can now see more of the lower kitchen elements it's also worth noting that perspective views can have a defined view template as well so please make good use of these as well but clearly since perspective views or camera views are mainly used for explaining project ideas, concepts and solutions to clients, the most powerful tools we can use are focusing on graphical representation of this view. And we can set up most of these by amending how the views are displayed using shaded, hidden lines, consistent colors, realistic, ray trace views. I'll just switch to hidden line again and we can further define these by going to graphic display options the graphic display options tab provides us with loads of options for fine-tuning the display of lines surfaces lighting photography exposure and even setting up background images now as is the case with view templates, you'll notice that some of these options will become available or will be frozen. But to show off the strengths of the new perspective view options, I will turn on the options for shadow casting and ambient shadows 
let me apply this and sketchy lines which can give an artistic touch to everything and if that's not enough you can always add on some jitter pretty awesome isn't it